Hey, what's going on guys? Soccer Doc here. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Joseph Martinez's injury, how he tore his ACL against Nashville. We're also going to be going over where he is at in his training protocol, what's he up to now in rehab, and how long from now do we expect him back on the field. Alright, let's get to it. This is Joseph Martinez's injury update. Enjoy. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Appreciate you joining my community. Let's get to it. Alright guys, in this first clip, we're going to take a look at how Joseph Martinez injured his knee in the first place. So him and the defender number four from Nashville were, all, were both going for the ball. And it wasn't a malice intent. It wasn't a hard contact at all. But this is how most ACL injuries happen. Now, as they were going through the ball, I want you to pay attention to one thing. As the defender was falling, he kind of put a little bit of weight on Joseph's knee and also caused Joseph to land in a to push off from the ground in this, what we call a knee valgus position in physical therapy. What knee valgus is, is an internal rotation at the knee where it's being pointed medially while the femur is being pointed laterally and the tibia is being pointed medially. So this internal and external rotation both at the knee causes what we call a torsional force. Now torsional force is kind of a twisting motion at the knee and at the ligaments. Now this type of force has been shown, especially when you add a high velocity to it, judging by the high speed that Joseph Martinez is going at, it's been shown to cause ligament strains and ligament injuries compared to any other type of force. Now Joseph Martinez being the high level athlete he is, he's going to rehab successfully and I expect him to be out in the field soon. So let's take a look at some of his rehab programs that he's up to now. In this clip here, we see Joseph walking on a treadmill, and here his trainers have him focusing on walking on a heel-to-toe pattern. Now, it's very important as we rehab an athlete to reteach that proper body mechanics from heel to toe. This is going to get the right muscles firing when you step on your heel, the posterior chain muscles, the hamstrings and calves fire. When you push off from the toes, the, cat, the quadriceps and the anterior tibialis, all the muscles in the front of the leg are firing mostly. What I want you to pay attention in this video first you can see is on the right knee of Joseph. You can see his scar is healed pretty well on his right knee. Now I want you to check out the muscle definition on his left quad. Every time he steps you can see that strong muscle bulk. On the right quad you don't really see quite the same muscle bulk. It looks more like maybe yours and my quad not as strong as Joseph's. Now also check out the calf, the left calf when he steps. You can see that strong muscle bulk. On the right calf you don't see quite the same muscle bulk. So this is something that Joseph is going to be working on with his trainers to get back into tip-top shape, get that muscle strength, and get that proper body mechanics aligned. In this next clip here, we have Joseph performing a single leg squat on a leg press machine. Now notice that he has a BFR device around his thigh. This is called the blood flow restriction device. What this cuff is doing is it's limiting the blood flow to his leg. When done properly, it can limit almost as up to 80% of the blood flow to a limb. Now why we use this in rehab is for two reasons. Well, one major reason. First of all, and to put it short, we have to put it in short terms, you're simulating a high-level workout without actually doing a high-level workout. Let me explain the science, a little bit of the science behind it. So basically, we have type 1, which are called slow-twitch muscle fibers that rely on oxygen. They're aerobic muscles whenever we work out. And then we have type 2, anaerobic muscles. These are fast-twitch muscles. They mostly work without oxygen. When you have a blood flow restriction device, what you're doing is you're limiting the oxygen flow to the area so you're causing your body to really rely and hyper activate those type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers these are the muscle fibers that you use every time you sprint for a ball every time you jump up every time you explode and move really fast with a quick jolt these are the muscle fibers you're using the second thing that's going on is because the blood isn't flowing as well lactic acid begins to build up now when lactic acid builds up you start feeling more sore your muscles get sore and then it also it's trigger a signal sent to your brain that lactic acid is building up and your brain starts signaling another signal which is called protein synthesis and when the brain causes protein synthesis to be to start up and start up faster you start releasing more growth hormone now growth hormones the hormone that allows us to build muscle to allow us to get bigger to get stronger studies have shown that when you do blood flow restriction to a muscle during a, a workout you can increase almost 170 percent more of growth hormone during that workout versus regular band exercise regular resistance exercises so essentially what the his therapists and his rehab professionals are doing here with joseph is they're trying to simulate a high level workout using this cuff 
without actually having to perform 50 squats because he may just not be ready for that at this point in time. So it's a pretty cool science way to get the muscle firing and rehabbing well Only perform this under the attention of a medical professional. And I will also include a link below to a great article that you can read about this, about blood flow restriction and how it works and how it can benefit athletes. All right, guys, in this next clip we have here, we see Joseph performing a single leg stance. He's standing on his left leg and performing simple ball kicks against the wall. Now, what I want you to pay attention to here is notice how he is just gently extending his knee as he kicks the ball. Now, this is a good sign that Joseph is already doing an activity like this because whenever I rehab an athlete who had an ACL surgery, usually I follow the surgeon's protocol and typically it's contraindicated. We don't do any type of knee extension like this within the first three to five months. So the fact that Joseph is already doing this, it's a great sign into his rehab because what you're doing is you're slowly activating that quad tendon and because he's also kicking a pretty filled ball against the wall, that quad tendon is being worked on. And studies have shown that whenever the quad tendon is being activated, you're also performing a slight strain to your ACL ligament. Now, not as much, not nearly as much as the torsional strain we went over in the beginning. This is more of a safer level, but because he's allowed to do this, he's able to do this and he's doing it pretty, looks like pain-free. This is a good sign that Joseph's right where he needs to be during his rehab. All right, in the next clip, we see Joseph here on a power resistance bike. Now, these strength bikes are very effective to, for performing upper body and lower body strengthening. Here, we see Joseph not using his legs, just going basically on the arms. Now, this is great because it's producing what we call the anaerobic glycolytic energy burst. This is like 12 to 15 seconds where your body goes full out. It's using up all the glucose to give you a high performance power. Very good sign that Joseph is doing this because if he were not to be doing activities such as this, he could get fatigued a lot faster. He could lose a lot of his endurance. Now, this is a good sign that he's doing this at this stage. Once he gets back to playing, we know soccer could be very football, soccer, whatever you call it, same thing. It could be a very upper body physical game. And we need that quick burst, not only for sprinting, because a lot of our movements are from the pumping of the arms that can help propel us forward, but also for fighting off defenders, a quick burst when a defender comes to tackle you. So a great sign here. All right, now in this final clip here, we have Joseph kicking the ball with his trainer with the instep. What I like about this clip is, as you can see, Joseph's taking quick steps in and out, quick steps in and out. And they're all very timely. He's trying his best to be as accurate as he can, both with the left and the right. This is great because it's working on that neurodynamic patterns. So whenever we move as an athlete, as a soccer player, you have different nerves and different muscles that have to be activated and synchronized in the way they function and activate together. Now, Joseph is showing great body posture in this, and, and I like his timing. You know, he, his coordination looks good. He's not misstepping. He's not tripping over himself. This is all good signs. As much as we can, stimulate their environment in the rehab facility you know it comes to a time where the best training you can do for an athlete is actually outside on the pitch and on the field Grace on the joseph is already doing this now i want to share with you guys another clip that's that's very nice that, that joseph shared with us and this is him on january 15 now that he's back on the field he's training with some of his athletes he posted this here he's not doing full contact trainings but he's at least out getting touches and he said i'll do my best to translate from spanish to english spanish is not my first language portuguese english is my second spanish is my third but let's let me do my best for you guys volviendo a vivir sensaciones que estuvieran detenidas durante casi un año muy duro so he's saying i'm returning to living sensations that have been detained for almost a year and it's been a very tough year. La cancha, la pilota, the field, the ball, and everything. I'm starting to feel like a footballer again. It's the happiness. 2021 comienza bien. 2021 has started well. Todo está cada vez más cerca. Everything is each day getting closer. Every each each day things are getting closer. Pronto nos veremos de vuelta. Soon we will see each other once again. And he tags Atlanta United. So this is great to see Joseph feeling happy, feeling happy to be back on the field. And, you, you know, he said there it's been a very tough year this past year. Not only was this man going through COVID, but he's also going through ACL rehab and, you know, losing a lot of his abilities as a top-level footballer. But with Joseph, 
his rehab, how well he's doing during progress and the high-level athlete he was before. Not only that, but also the mental strength and the determination that he has. I expect within the next three months we should see start seeing Joseph once again. Three to four months, just his high level. And if not, then you know at least a year from his injury we should start seeing him. But I give it the next three to four months we should see some signs of Joseph. If not, then it might be at least till August of, of this summer that we'll see him once again. All right. So if you guys are new to my channel, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I look forward to making more videos for you guys. Thanks for joining me.